Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back. Um, this is Professor West and um, as some of you know I'm doing these short videos on different Microsoft Word and um, other Microsoft Office tools. Today I'm going to be talking about how to center text, left align, right align, how to do bullets and numbers. So let's jump right in. Let's say I want to make a list. I'm going to say sporting events and I want to list a bunch of different sporting events that this place may have. So I'm going to come up here to the paragraph section and right here these are called bullets and a bullet just puts a dot beside whatever you're doing. So let's do a couple. Uh, let's say football, soccer, and baseball. And if I would have already clicked this, then each one of these would have had one. But because I didn't, it does it a little different. Notice how it made them a little smoother. Now that I have these bullets on here, if I decide I wanted to add something else, like let's say hockey, um, let's say cheer, and I don't know what else, um, badminton. Notice that it just keeps putting bullets. And when I decide I'm done, I can either go up and click the bullets again, which would put it back to the left, or I could have hit the backspace key on my keyboard, which would have taken the bullet off but left the cursor in the same space. And if I hit it again, it goes over and then back. So you have a few different options here. But notice that each of these are the same. And here's something neat. Let's highlight them and I can come over here and click the drop down right now it's on the circle but what if I want them to look like that or I want them to be little squares or I want them to be cute little colory things or I want them to look like this there's different ones and you can also go online and find others so I'm not gonna worry about all that right now but um, let's say I want them to look like that and here's something interesting let's say with baseball I hit the enter key and it comes up and I want to put a couple of different types of baseball so I hit the tab button to move over and it changes so now I could say boys and girls maybe maybe up here maybe I didn't just say baseball maybe I also said softball so now I have boys and girls and what happens is these are different than these I could still go in and change them but I won't want them to be the exact same because that shows that they're at a different level than these. These are part of one of these. And now let's say I decide I don't want to use bullets, I want to use numbers. So I can go in and hit the button and now it numbers them. So notice underneath right now by default I have it set up so that if it's numbers when I tabbed over it's A and B. And there's, this is very important because a lot of times numbers indicate some kind of a hierarchy. Like in this case, maybe football is more important than soccer, which is more important than baseball. And I'm going to hit the undo button. Whereas bullets um, indicate that everything is on the same level. So... Um, typically when you're making your documents if you have bullets then this indicates that this one's not more important than this one and it's not more important than this one whereas if we use numbers that's not always the case sometimes it's the case but not always and just like with um, bullets I can drop click the drop down button and I have lots of different ones maybe I don't want periods after the numbers maybe I want um, open parentheses like this maybe I want to use Roman numerals or lowercase numerals if I use Roman numerals here and I click and I tab over and I do um, boys and girls then I could highlight this and tell it instead of um, uppercase Roman numerals let's use lowercase or I could tell it let's move into A's and B's however I want to do it it's all up to me um, as the person creating the form so um, just keep that in mind um, the other thing I wanted to mention real quick is aligning text. So let's say right now you can click anywhere on this line. It doesn't matter because I'm aligning the entire line. 
right now this is called left aligned which means that everything lines up on the left um, these are a little different because they have to have room in case the numbers get bigger they start moving towards the left but if I wanted to click this button this would center in the center of the page so a lot of times you may find that you have headings or whatever that need to be centered this is right aligned it moves it further over to the right and actually now everything that I type if I type something shorter um, let's say hat and notice that everything aligns on the right and let's say baseball again I don't know why just because it's a word but now notice that no matter how big these um, words are or sentences are they all end at the same spot and if I highlight them and I center them now notice that here's the center of the page and the longer ones stick out a little further to the left and the right and the shorter ones are right in the center and when I highlight them again and I tell it to left align now notice that they all start on the same level here and it just depends on how long the word is so that's how you use these and there's one other let me switch to this document one other thing that we can use and that's called block and what that means is when I click this it tries to have everything start at the same spot and end at the same spot so notice how this other paragraph here it comes in some this words way over here but notice these all come to the exact same spot if I were to use the block command on this just keep your eye on this part right here and notice that it now all matches it's all lined up sometimes you may want that in your paper what it does is it goes through and it added like right here you can tell it added a little extra space and uh, to just to get everything to line up and sometimes you'll want your papers to be that way and sometimes you won't sometimes your professors if you're in class may tell you to make them that way and sometimes they might not but that's just about it and I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next segment don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel I'm gonna have a lot of these videos coming out pretty quickly and uh, once we finish with Word we're gonna move into Excel and PowerPoint and stuff like that so hope to see you there enjoy bye